So now that we've done the uh, cleaning of our data, we have to add two more rows to our table um, before we could start making our pivot tables and graphs. Uh, so the first thing which I've already done is sort by the workstation number. Uh, you're just going to sort in ascending order. And you'll have workstation one, then two, then three, then four, then five. And to make the calculations a little bit easier, uh, we're going to copy all of the data in our table. And then we're going to paste special as values. This will just make some of our calculations later on a little bit easier, so we're not working with formulas. All right, so everything looks good here. Now the first column we're going to add is a difference column. This column is going to be uh, useful for us because if we have the difference between uh, the second time and the first time, that's the difference between uh, when workstation one is finished with part one and when they start on part one. So that's looking at cycle time. Um, so to create this formula, it's going to be the uh, next timestamp minus the current timestamp. And this should automatically uh, fill up the entire table. There's going to be a couple cells, uh, five of them, where there are hashtags filling up the entire cell. That's just where workstation one transitions to workstation two. Um, we don't need these, so we'll just delete them. All right. And then uh, the last column where you have to create is called uh, cycle slash weight. And this is where we determine whether uh, the difference is going to be the cycle time um, or it's going to be the time when parts are transitioning between workstations. So if we look at this first one, this first difference, that's the difference between when workstation one start, finishes working on part one and when they start working on it. So that's going to be cycle time. Then if we look at uh, this eight second difference here, that's the time between when workstation one starts working on part two and finishes working on part one. Uh, so that's going to be wait time. It's going to be downtime. Uh, they're actually not working on a part right then. So we're going to have to distinguish between this using a formula. The formula is going to be uh, an if function. Um, so if the part number is equal to the previous part number, or the previous part number, and that means it's going to be a cycle time. So we're going to do uh, rotations cycle. And uh, if it's not the same, if the part number is not the same as the previous one, then that's going to be our wait time. Uh, so do enter here. And this formula should go through, fill everything up. Um, it'll pretty much be alternating for the entire thing, uh, which is good. So now that we have this, uh, the next thing we're going to do in the next video is going to be building our pivot chart.